The patch notes are out? Oh shit, they are. Water rune healing reduced from 80 to 40 HP. Oh! Wait, multiple critical strike procs are now rolled from strongest to weakest and will stop rolling once a proc occurs. I'll have to look at Purge for that math. He's good at that. Sources of flat cooldown reduction still stack. He doesn't have a clue what's going on. Michael, you poor sweet thing. You don't have a thought behind those eyes, do you? Sweet boy. Neutral creeps now drop five neutral items per tier. Good. There's five players. It should be four per tier. Or five per tier. Bottle got another nerf. What? It's already dead. Stop nerfing it. Uh, Mage Slayer re... Twenty magic, twenty percent magic resist, twenty damage, ten int, fifteen attack speed, two mana regen. Okay, now this is even weirder. To be honest, this looks like a good tank item, actually, because it gives you mana regen, some int, some damage, some attack speed, magic resist. This is a nice tanky item. Excuse me. Attacks breaking out invisibility now deal a guaranteed 160% crit with 175% with 175 bonus damage. This is kind of nuts. <laughs> Jeez. Damage per tick reduced from your int to 75% of your int. Duration increased by a second, so it does more damage. Yeah, it does 20. It does. 20% of your int more of damage, actually. Actually, it's more than that. Yeah, 7 times 5, 35. Yeah. 375%, actually. Whatever. It, just, it does more damage overall, I think. It's hard to do math in my head when it's decimals. Faded Brooch removed. Aw, this was actually one of the good items. 20 move speed. Orbit Destruction removed. It just... It looks like a good item on paper, but it was just hard to use. Pick pull. New tier one item, six all attributes. Turns your hero into a critter and gives him 10%. <laughs> you sheep stick yourself. Kidding? That's hilarious. Okay, that's a favorite. That's a fave. Plus six all attributes, and every 25 seconds, you can just hex yourself and go wee! <laughs> Seven more damage to enemies reach 10% HP they are missing. So, the most it could ever deal is. Nine times seven, so. 86? 86 bonus damage if they're at 10% health. Yeah, 86. Isn't it 86? It's times 9. Oh, I'm, I'm going minus 1 on both columns, aren't I? 64? Oh, right, it's only 7. I was going 9. Wow, why was I going 9 times 9? Wow, I'm dumb. I was going... I didn't take enough off in the tens place. That's what was going on in my head. What the fuck? This looks broken as fuck. You just deal 300 damage by being hit on a 20 second cooldown. Excuse me? Like, I dare you to smack me. Boom. This is actually broken. Holy shit. Flicker. Now blinks in place if its owner received damage in the last three seconds. Isn't that a buff? This is technically a buff. If you're blinking in place, it's just while attacking somebody, oh, they slowed you. Flicker. Keep attacking. It now makes Flicker a combat item. In This is now a really scary combat item. The fact that it blinks you in place. This is now broken. Valve.
you broke the item. The blink was the reason it wasn't an in-combat item. You used it to get away. You didn't use it while being aggressive. Now you can do use it while being aggressive. Because you blink in place. Instead of blinking ahead of whoever you're attacking. Or somewhere to the side. Stormcrafter no longer triggers if the holder is invisible. Aww! No! I mean, that's kind of a buff, but a nerf if you're doing the invisible less track. Uh, oh well. Abaddon, strength reduced. Cast range increase on aphotic shield. Okay, you only ever really use it on yourself anyway. So it's a 75% magic damage reduction to anti-mage? His shard makes him literally immune if he gets a mage slayer. If Anti-Mage gets a Mage Slayer, he is actually immune to magic damage. Way to break AM, Valve. Way to break AM. Stacking debuff? So after five spins, you deal zero damage. Doesn't this nerf Axe? Because he wants to deal damage with Blade Mail. If this is reducing their damage dealt to Axe, he's not dealing Blade... This... Shard's now counterproductive. <laughs> oh, I just got fucking dumpstered. Oh, God. Oh, he went from a carry to nothing. Oh, oh God. Axe is so dead now. So dead. It, it doesn't deal as big of a hit, but it, it has way more uptime. You can cast it twice in 10 seconds. For 100 mana to do 160 damage. Track now also causes Shuriken Toss to deal bonus damage. <laughs> okay. Nice buffs to Bounty. <laughs> Wait. He still has the plus 50 Shuriken Toss damage talent at 15. It didn't change it at all. Oh shit, it does even more. Okay, yeah. Uh, you didn't think about that. 40% evasion replaced with two shuriken toss charges, yes! Ag's bounty is back. Double toss shuriken. <laughs> Just deal a casual 4,000 damage. Oh my god, they broke, they broke Bounty, they broke him, they broke him, he's broken. Oh, you broke him. His passive actually does something useful, his shard now does something useful, and his scepter makes his ult do something useful! Chen actually has a purpose! About time, you gave Shen something he can do! It's, it's just a multi-shot? <laughs> Multi shot. This is so good. Imagine Clinks with a Maelstrom. <laughs> Clinks with a Maelstrom is just lightning. Ooh. Ooh. At level 10, just 60 mana burn on your cogs. Ooh. Reduce the Iron Shell damage? How dare you? How dare you nerf his talents? Fuck you! Cause you always went Iron Shell Radius and Vacuum AoE! Now you have to choose! Oh, damn it, why'd you... Why nerf Darkseer? Dunbreaker, Starbreaker... No long... No longer gets cancelled if Starburger gets rooted. Instead, just the movement is interrupted. Thank you so much. Added Ag Shard grants magic immunity during Starbreaker. I called it. Pay up, fellas. Pay up. Pay up. I called it. I called it. The Shard would give spell immunity. I called it. Pay up. <laughs> I'm, I'm being facetious. <laughs> but... <laughs> I called it! I fucking called it! They're slowed by 35% after 10 hits. <laughs> they ain't moving! Plus 200 after shot. 
Why buff Earthshaker? Stop! Fuck you! Stop! Why buff Earthshaker? Fuck you! You buff Earthshaker, but you nerf Elder Titan? You buff him four ways to Doomsday, and yet you nerf Elder Titan by 30 damage. So it's either time lock damage or plus 120 attack speed during Chronosphere. Ooh, it's a toughie! I think you would go with the 120, right? Because that's basically a free Mask of Madness. Yeah, chrono somebody and just go ham. <laughs> just go ham. Now, constant wait. So as you're running from the missile, it's just pew pewing you as it's chasing you. <laughs> oh my god. That's gotta look absolutely hilarious. The missile's just coming at you, just going. <laughs> That's gonna be a treat. Oh shit. Decoy. Oh, they finally... Thank you, I called it. I called it. I called it for these buffs. I called it. Level 15 talent from 16 agility to plus 2 acorn shot bounces. Yes! Yes! Plus 2 acorn shot bounces. Carrie Hoodwink is back. Life is unfair. Plus 20 attack speed replaced with plus 40 regen. Why? <sighs> Scepter now lets you cast your other abilities with channels. Is it... Okay. So wait, you can cast Sinister Gaze and then Alt and Q and W and... They broke Lich. Lich is broken. <laughs> they broke him. They broke him. <laughs> they broke Lich. Scepter now deals damage immediately after infesting. Oh, shit! Level 10 talent change from 70 damage to 60. Okay, nerfs to Lion. He needed it. It needs to be nerfed more, but at least they at least realize this is broken. Holy shit! Global Lunar Blessing and then plus 35 Lunar Blessing damage? Oh. That's interesting. Divided We Stand can be cast from any Meepo, causing the nearby Meepo to fling you toward a target within 900 range. Wait. So you can just midget toss Meepos? So Meepo can just midget toss himself at an enemy? <laughs> Monkey King, tree dance, cast point reduced... They just keep buff, they buff, nerf, buff, nerf, buff, nerf. They just keep, they can't determine, just make it point two. You keep going from point one to point three to point three to point one to point one to point three, just make it point two. <laughs> now puts a debuff on the enemy hero, which reduces the enemy outgoing damage by 60% for four seconds. Oh shit. <laughs> so, your bonk, instead of being a heal nuke, it's now a good luck dealing damage, sucker. <laughs> Wait, if you astral an ally, they can move? Astral someone in a chronosphere and they're like, do, 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 do. I'm free! Dobby is free. <laughs> Health replaced by plus 30 plasma field damage. Oh, more incentive to the max at first now. Eight armor replaced with plus six second static league drain duration? Hmm. Interesting. Epicenter. Shard now grants plus 20 damage per pulse. Are you serious? So Soul Catcher gets, gives you spell amp. Up to 11% spell amp for each hero debuffed. Interesting. So up to 55% spell amp. 
So like if you Soul Catcher, Alt, Alt, Refresh, Soul Catcher, Alt, Alt, just BOOM! 2 million damage. Spellant doesn't really work well though. I can honestly only see this really working with Dagon. I guess Shadow Demon gets Dagon now. Necromastery is now an attack modifier that consumes one soul, granting your next attack a 170% crit with a 3 second cooldown. Excuse me? What? What? So it pays for itself when using it to farm creeps. Or if you just simply get the last hit. Oh, hell no! That's ridiculous. Uh, level 20 talent. Plus one agility gain stolen per essence shift stack. Are you serious? Slark's gonna be broken. Slark's gonna be broken. Slark's gonna be broken. Very, very broken. Slark's gonna be broken. You just broke Slark with this. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Holy fucking shit. Slark is gonna be broken, why would you do that? Active headshot shit. Oh! 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 It just makes you headshot every hit now. Causes dispersion to fire a spectral dagger every 300 damage absorbed in the direction of the last source of damage. What? So Spectre is now a weird, a weird bristleback. <laughs> Spectre's now a weird bristleback. Templar Assassin Sideblades now deals 5% less spell damage to each successive enemy after the first one. It could hit multiple units in a line? I thought it could only hit two. The initial and one more. I've never seen it hit more than one extra unit. I thought it could only hit two. I thought it was a bounce. Fixed tim Timber Chain being slightly larger than the length, causing Timber Chain to sometimes miss. I had that happen to me once. I was like, I clearly clicked the tree. Why did it miss? That's what it, uh, it was a bug. I wasn't crazy. It was a bug. I was like, I clicked the tree. <laughs> it was a bug. Tinker. Oh, fucking Christ. Take a drink. I'm not mentally ready for this. So laser's now an AoE blast. Oh fuck. Honestly, that makes thematic sense. It's a fucking laser. Why is it just hit one thing? What do you mean it doesn't make thematic sense? It's a fucking laser. It's going to do an AoE. It's blast. Like, it's a laser. It's going to, you know, it's a blast. It's more of a cannon. It's more of a laser cannon than a proper laser. I'm just saying thematic sense with how, t how Tinker uses his laser. It just makes thematic sense. Keen Conveyance. New rearm sub ability. Channel for. Oh. He just has TP boots? He just has TP boots? What? He has TP boots? As a basic ability. Okay. That's stupid. Oh, Rework Scepter. It gives Underlord a portal ability. Allies can click on either portal to teleport to the other one after a two second ch- <laughs> So, just be like, hey guys, just, it's like, hey, I want to save this person. Okay. Boom. Just pop a portal down next to them and after two seconds, they just get sucked to you. Because that's a quicker channel time than using a TP scroll. It's just two seconds, just a wah, poof, gone. <laughs> now reduces Flesh Golem cooldown by 30 seconds and causes Undying to spawn one zombie on each attack. <laughs> We're going to see Undying's building attack speed items. Oh, Undying is now a 1v1 master. 
he flesh golems and just attacks you repeatedly and you're like, there's so many zombies, I'm slowed. Ah, dying. <laughs> you can't 1v1 undying now in flesh golem, it's not possible. You'll just have like 60 fucking golem, 60 fucking zombies on you. <laughs> no Ursa nerfs? Are you fucking kidding me? Plus 40 DPS upheaval replaced by plus 10% attack speed per second to allies max. What? <laughs> okay, that's actually really fucking strong. 35 damage replaced with plus 90 Germany attack damage. That's way better. Okay, Gale Force. Rework Shard, now grants Gale Force. Vector targeted, summons a strong wind that pushes all enemies within a 1,000 AoE by 250 units per second in the target direction for three seconds. So you just make a wind wall. It's literally a fucking wind wall. Yes, it's a fucking wind wall. She has a fucking wind wall on a 40 second cooldown as another ability. I said wind wall, not walk, wind wall. It's a wind wall. Sorry if I lisp, my teeth are crap. And the last one, Zeus, lightning bolt, vision duration increased by 0.5, why? It already gave vision for a fucking long time, why are you increasing it? Shard active now grants 900 radius unobstructed vision around Zeus for three seconds? Oh, fuck. That's really fucking strong. Just a, just reveal 900 AoE around you. Reveal. Bing. Reveal. <laughs> I called it. I called it.